Hi Ari, it's Travsneer, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Last episode, we slayed some members of the Syndicate for Magistrate Henry Maleb. Today we are going to be having a chat with Lieutenant Farron Oranel, hey continuing his quest chain, Farron's Proof. Would you believe it, Squiddly Diddly? Redpath wasn't satisfied with all the Murlocs we killed. Oh now, don't be modest. You had some hand in it. Now he wants me to bring proof of the deed. Hacking off cold, slimy murloc heads to submit for his approval. Be careful. It's kind of a weird... He didn't even ask us to help him. Like, whatever, just... <laughs> I guess drain eyes are just nice like that. <laughs> it's just like, oh, I'll help you. I'll go get him. Yeah, that guy doesn't like to, uh... Get his hands dirty. He just likes chugging back the brewskis. That's what he's all about. All right, so we got a bunch of murlocs here. We'll just go up the coast and uh, we will try to get some murloc heads, I guess. Well, they uh, they all have heads. Oh, we also forgot. I almost forgot about this. We forgot to uh, finish this quest. So we didn't actually do it. I, don't know, I can't believe I forgot about that. Well, I guess we'll slay some murlocs for a bit. We'll check out the drop rate. And then, if it kind of sucks, then maybe we'll just go up to uh, the Syndicate place. And we'll finish that quest up. We'll for sure probably finish the quest. Finish that Syndicate Assassin's quest. Okay, so we're getting a bunch of... Uh, there we go, murloc hit already. Not too shabby. <laughs> Gonna watch out for these guys. And give us a big proc. Is he gonna attack me? I'm gonna get to the Naru. Oh, they're both coming. It's not good. Maybe this guy could fight to speak it. Oh. I'm stout on that one. We'll go for this one. One in the water, we can't even see him. That's one thing about Murlocs, they can always, you know, they come out of nowhere. You gotta watch out. I almost died to one on my hardcore rogue. Just came out of the water and just started attacking. This guy's gonna start with. Yeah, we already got two heads, so it's been pretty good so far. We slayed around like five of them. Should also probably queue up for, uh, for SM. Why not? I think we've already done graveyard, so we're just trying to do armory and library right now. Let's see if anybody's queued up. Doesn't look like it. That's okay. It's no big deal. Another Murloc head. Yeah, drop rate's not bad. I thought it'd be way worse, but it, it makes sense why it's not that bad, right? Because it is like they all have heads, right? Do you imagine <laughs> like having a rough drop rate when they all have heads? The funny thing is, like half of them don't. Or we just uh, didn't slice their heads off properly. Yeah. Let's keep on rolling. Oh. 
No. Not the healing wave, dude. Drink up. Here we go again. Somehow we pulled that guy. The casters are the biggest pain because they just don't move. Is he going to heal him? Oh my gosh, he healed him. Nice heal. We're gonna have a lightning bolt competition. Drain eyes are big, man. I would not want to go toe to toe with a drain eye. Like when I walk up to uh, humans and I go f like first person, like you can tell you're like a solid, <laughs> like foot taller than them. They all have to be like seven foot tall. Like Drain Eyes, probably even taller. And then you look at like Kill Jaden and Archimon, they're like giants. But they were probably, uh. We're given that by Sargeras. We're halfway done the heads quest. Pretty quick. I wonder how much we're getting paid for these favors that we're doing for Farron. 30, sil 30 silver. Okay. Imagine he just gambles inside of the tavern with the inn. And with the money he wins, he just gives it to us to do his jobs for him. Or probably what happens is, he probably doesn't gamble. He probably gets paid a lot more than 30 silver. And we just get like a like 10% of his paycheck, maybe less. They're going to run soon. You guys are only level 29. I guess we're getting pretty far down the coast now. Well, they still drop heads, so I guess we'll stay. We got a little flurry frog here. Alright, let's drink up. Go get to the Naru. Try to use this. So we'll set up shop here. There's one in the water too. Pull him over here. He's we're swimming away. He's trying to get away. See if we got any heads off these two. Yeah, one more head left. Is this guy a shooter? No. Nope. Oh, let's gotta save our totem. There we go. This guy's a shooter. What's he shooting at us? So he th he's throwing something. And there we go. We're done with the Murloc. That's not a bad quest, guys. Not too bad at all. Get up.
All right, so there we are. We are done with the Murlocs. So I think we'll just start heading north, and we're going to go try to find this last Syndicate footpath guy. Since we missed out on him. I, th I swear we had one left last episode, and I kind of just uh, had a little bit of brain fog and just hurt back. But we're going to redeem ourselves today. Pick some herds, herbs along the way as well. Why not? Just got to level our herbalism up still. Can't find this Briarthorn. Briarthorns aren't that bad, but... Herbs are just a pain to find sometimes. Especially at night. Like, should be right here. Maybe it's inside this tree. There it is. Here we go. Oh, we discovered Azerlode Mine. And the music changes. It's one thing I missed out on. I was said I was going to level a rogue in classic SOM and just have a guy have a rogue that just hangs out in Azerload Mine. <laughs> I think that would be fun. You just speed level a rogue. And then whenever... I think you would have to be Horde. Right? Or you'd have to be Alliance. Yeah, you'd have to be Alliance. It's an Alliance mine. And then you just have your Rogue there. And he can just sit there. And protect the uh, the boss that the Horde are trying to kill. I think that would be worth the effort. So there will be a decent amount of people. It's a pretty popular place to uh, to level. This is another good place to be if you're looking for some PvP as an Alliance player. There's a lot of Horde quests here. Slaying these Hillsbrad peasants and farmers and... And cows. You need something? It's a great zone to level, actually. If you're looking for some action. It's kind of like Stranglethorn Vale. That's one thing we haven't really leveled in that much is STV on Squilly Diddly. It's mostly been in uh, Desolus and Hillsbrad. So here we are over at Darrow Hill. We have to watch out, though, when we go by Terran Mill. Last thing we want to do is... Um, we got a Warlock there, a level 35 Warlock. What's he doing? I wonder if he'll fight me. Is he going to fight me? Why is he backpedaling like that? Don't mess with the yetis. Interrupt his fear. That's right. Oh, it's, it's like the yetis are upset that I attacked that undead. I had to attack him. I haven't seen him in, in a horde player, I should say, in a long time. It's almost about to say alliance. All right, so let's heal up here. It's funny how he was just backpedaling the whole time. I guess he was just trying to troll me. I probably shouldn't have killed him. It wasn't a very kind thing to do. All right, so we're up in Alturic Mounds again. At Koran's Dagger. Should be close. Oh. We have a lot of hulking male lions that have been slain up here. Maybe, we'll, maybe we will find some more horde.
All right, so Terran Mill's just over here, so we gotta watch out. And then just up here is where the Syndicate are. So Farrah's knees. Oh, we got a King's Blood here. Nice. Let's pick that up. Nice. We had to oh, failed attempt. There we go. And there, there we go. The last one we had to fight. We got a little wind fury going on. There we go. We finally finished it, guys. All right, so let's, I uh, guess we'll hearth back and we will turn these two quests in. All right, so I guess we'll go speak with Henry Maleb first. I like that name, that guild name, Casual But Clearing. That's what it's all about. Having fun and clearing the raids. What can I do for you? Syndicate Assassins. Oh, Noble Deaths? We have two quests to turn in? Have you been hunting the Syndicate? Do you have those rings? Oh, we don't have those rings Go yet. With honor, Probably have to get those. So we'll finish this one. Thank you, Squiggly Diddly. Although they may be lurking about, we hope that some of the thieves and footpads you slew were responsible for the last magistrate's death. But even if they weren't, the syndicate is a taint on this land and a stain on the human race. Their deaths are welcome to so sure. I kind of disagree. Be careful. And the main reason why I disagree is because. You know, they have a bigger threat, you know? Like, why would they fight hu other humans? You know, when you have the undead, like, just <laughs> just north of you. Or, or Terran Mill. I think Terran Mill's probably a much worse threat than the Syndicate. Like, let's be honest. Okay. Greetings. Did you get those heads for me, Squilly Dilly? Oh, for the love of light, they're dripping on the ground. Can't stand touching those things myself. Fish are all are all well and good, but when they grow legs and start walking around, haven't eaten a fish in weeks. Let me tell you. And in South Shore, that means you aren't eating much. All right, so it looks like we got to uh, deliver these these heads. You know, Squilly Dilly, I'd rather not take these heads since you've already got your handle on them. Would you mind delivering them to Red Path for me? For the Alliance. For the Alliance. All right, let's go do that. We'll deliver into Red Path for him. What can I do for you? Aaron's proof. Greetings, citizen. Have you come to lend your arm to upholding the safety of South Shore? Farron's errand boy, are you? If you assisted Farron in procuring these heads, then thank you. South Shore needs hard workers and effort to maintain its protection. All right, please inform Lieutenant Orono that I would like him to refocus his efforts on the Naga infesting the Eastern Strand. When he has results, tell him to report to me in person. Speak with Lieutenant Farrah and Ornell in South Shore. See you later. Looks like he's, uh... Looks like he's probably going to tell us to probably slay these Naga as well. I'm kind of caught in the middle between you these two. Something? The Naga, eh? Red Path must have just received the same information as me. Ha! Huh. He'll not receive a promotion from my toil. Let me explain. My former mentor in Stormwind City's guard sent a message to me that Alliance High Command is becoming concerned with the threat posed by the Naga. From what he's heard, there's a good chance for a promotion, or at least reassignment, for anyone who proves valuable in this regard. There's just one small problem. I can't handle the Naga, Squiggly Diddly. Oh, sure, I could break up a drunken Baroon brawl or haul off a belligerent beggar, but the Naga are too much for me. You've got to help me, Squiggly Diddly. Looks like he wants us to slay 20 Naga. See you around. And I think we will do that next episode, guys. And I'm going to be calling it for this episode. But as always, 
Thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.